For what? For parking too close to my car! Oh, that's it. <laughs> You know that one lady in your neighborhood who never minds her business, who behaves like a full grown adult baby? No, not that one. Yeah, that one. Well, buckle up because today we're diving head first into the wild world of Karens, where cringe reaches a whole new level. Today we're gonna see Karens get what they actually deserve. From shouting and slapping people in the parking lots to becoming next level crybabies when they got caught by the police. These Karens are on a mission to make everything their problem. And ours too. So that's why I made this video. So we can all take them down together as a team. Because if we try going one on one, they'll knock you out. Out. We have to stop them. And I'm also gonna tell you what to do in case you encounter a Karen because we all need to know the same information I do so you can be safe and fight back. I mean, not fight back, but hey, Ronaldo, what do you have to say, bro? Subscribe to my channel. You might be wondering, how did we get here? How did the word Karen go from being just a name to a full blown internet phenomenon? Well, let's go a bit back to history. No, no, not that history. God damn. Originally, the word Karen was just a meme, you know, a way to poke fun at, you know, those neighbors who never mind their business, who always had one thing to complain about. But thanks to social media, this idea exploded. Now, the word Karen isn't just a meme, it's a mindset, it's a mix of entitlement, privilege, and a whole lot of cringe. They're the ones who request to see the manager, even if they're already speaking to the manager. They believe rules don't apply to them, they believe the world revolves around them. Now let's dive into the real reason why we're here, the cringe. And trust me when I say these scary moments are so wild that you regret ever hearing the word caring. You'll be more embarrassed than if your dad ever said the word skibbity. These aren't just regular Karens being Karens. These are way extreme. These are legendary moments that broke the internet and had the whole world asking the same question. How <coughs> How did that happen? Let's kick this off with the drive through diver. So imagine this, a one pulls up, place an order for a barbecue and then the employees took her order and then asked her to move over while her order is being processed you know how they're doing mcdonald's chick-fil-a and she just you know they can serve all the customers who's waiting on the drive through line so this karen in particular didn't agree to move over like she felt like her 15 minutes what's way more than the employees i don't know like i don't know how she was feeling but like yeah she even threatened to call the police just check the clip out he just hung up on me and that's gonna be a problem for you that's gonna be a problem for you so basically the hot chick just wanted to know what's wrong with the caring and how she could help the caring you know that was absolutely nice of she i'm not gonna play the whole clip because it's like three minutes long and i don't want that for my video and yeah i'm just gonna show you how it ended this is the smoky mountain barbecue right did you personally make that yes i did and the other guy didn't no i made this myself okay so next up on the list of extreme carries we got oh the badge into my home oh. carry imagine this you're chilling in your pool with your dog at 3 a.m saturday afternoon and all of a sudden a woman just pulls up at your crib with a camera tell you how illegal it is to live your own life in your own house what would you do i mean i will tell you what i would do but let's see what the guy in the pool no. does bro, bro, so knock knock Hi there, folks. Yeah. My name's Jessica. I'm from the HOA. Uh, I'm bringing a couple of citations over to you guys. I don't know if you didn't get the memo. You can't have three cars in your driveway. Uh, Ma'am, do you live here? Do you live in that RV out there? You look like the type hey. that would live in an RV. Put your, hey, put your little camera on me. First of all, you need to back yourself out of my yard or this dog will attack you. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure you don't have a permit for that dog yeah. either. Imagine if a Karen tells your mom, Hey, you look like you're supposed to be living in an RV. What would you do? I mean, I would have lost it. Not to talk about the fact that she bat into their yard and she's currently standing in their property and talking trash. <sighs> oh, well, I mean, let's move on to the next Karen. I mean, this one is kind of terrible. Because just imagine if someone's complaining because you packed next to them in a public parking lot. I'm placing you under citizen's arrest. For what? For parking too close to my car. Oh, well, I'll just go. Yeah, just move it. Move. Move oh, no, you don't, princess. 
What makes these Karens so cringeworthy isn't just because of their behavior, but it's how completely out of touch these Karens are with reality. I mean, it's just like they believe the world owes them everything and they're just literally here to collect what they own. I know you're probably wondering, why do we love watching Karens? Why do these Karens moments go viral? Here's the truth, Karens gives us a front row seat to how entitlement can spiral out of control. They remind us what not to do when things don't go our way. Plus, let's be honest, there's something satisfying about seeing Karens get put in their place maybe by a fed up employee or oh, just pure camera just pure camera just pure camera oh the fuck is wrong I love the smell of camera in the morning or in the evening or in the 2 a.m. Fuck it. It's extremely satisfying to me. I don't know why, but like it's satisfying when I see these Karens get what they deserve. And if you feel the same satisfaction inside me, see this, comment instant camera equals instant satisfaction. Right now, go ahead. Anyways, let's not forget there is a darker side to all of this. While it's easy to laugh at Karens, these insane meltdowns often come with real consequences. The innocent people involved uh, get hurt most times. Uh, employees get harassed. Bystanders and bypassers are caught in the chaos. And even sometimes, these encounters turn out very dangerous. Plus, labeling someone a caring can sometimes oversimplify complex situations, turning very serious issues into a joke. It is not supposed to be a joke. Karen got what she deserved. When McDonald's employees made a mistake on this woman's order, they did not anticipate this freak out. But what happened afterwards makes this even better. Where's your manager? Can I speak to your manager? I asked for extra ketchup. What? What is this? What is this? This is so much ketchup. I can't eat that. You're making fun of me because I'm on a diet. Can you please get this ketchup out of my After this video was published on TikTok, it went viral and news organizations wrote about me. People found out where I work and they sent the video to my employer. I was then fired from my job. So apparently this lady went viral on TikTok and she lost her job because she was caught harassing the employees. So you see, while it's fun to watch, remember that behind every single cringe worthy moment, there is always a story that's not just so funny. I don't know why you're laughing. It's Ever wondered what to do if you ever encounter the Karen in the wild? Rule number one, stay calm. Rule number two, never engage with the Karen unless you absolutely have to. And you know, these situations with Karens can go extremely wild. It can escalate quickly. So you know, it's best to just grab your popcorn and just watch the drama unfold. But if you're like me and you're feeling really brave, these are a few steps. This oh. These are a few steps that can help you defuse the situation with the Karen. Number one, politeness overload. Respond to the aggressions with a calm, polite response. Number two, the reverse card. You know, sometimes you just ask them why they feel the way they do, and usually they'll just stumble. They will be speechless. And number three, record everything. Like this is the most important part of the whole situation. If you don't record, you got no proof because sometimes the camera can just be your best defense. A Karen can just randomly bust out of nowhere and slap you, and you know she'll be the one to call the cops. Yes, that's what happens. <laughs> Karens might bring the ultimate cringe, but they always give us a lot to talk about. Have you ever encountered a Karen? How was it like? You know, just put it down in the comment section and, you know, I'll reply to that so we can keep the conversation rolling. And yeah, and maybe together we can just figure out how not to be Karens ourselves. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Men can be Karens, right? <laughs>